guys, today I'm going to be doing another card trick tutorial. So this card trick is the cartoon deck, and by the way, I did get a new mat. Um, it's actually very, very, very nice, and it's going to be very easy to, to perform magic with it. So, all I have to do is pull out the deck, and I'll just set the box right there. Okay, so they could think of any card in the whole deck. Let's just say they think of, I don't know, if, uh, Queen of Hearts. So, right here I have the Queen of Hearts, right? So, all I do is I take the Queen of Hearts and I put it on the top of the deck, okay? Then, all I do is I just set the Queen of Hearts right there, okay? Now, this little magician knows, or like, like has the Queen of Hearts in his hat right here. So, look, if all I have to do is take it, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but he takes off his hat, sparkles it with his little magical wand, grabs a card out, and the card is... The Queen of Hearts. Just like that. That's the trick, guys. Now for the tutorial. So, this is very, very simple. One thing. do When you get this deck, <coughs> absolutely do not shuffle it. If you shuffle it, oh, you're going to have a rough time. Trust me. So, everything will be in order. All the cards will be in order. Okay, all you want to do is take the cards, okay? Now, practice before. Let's say they pick any card. I do the Queen of Hearts. I don't know why, because that's my sister's favorite card. So, what you do is, oh, first of all, see everything except the first two. So, you should, can say, okay, so see, the cards are normal, but then the next card, you're not sure the next card, because it's like that. So, it says two of hearts. So, I automatically know this is the one of hearts. See? I know this is the two of hearts because it has the three of hearts. This is the four of hearts, you know. Here, I'll pick any random one. I can go right here. This is the um, eight of diamonds or ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds, yeah. So, all you want to do is... Or you can either spread them out or let them think of any card. I usually let them think of any card. I just go, okay, go ahead. and Or I would spread out the cards and just say, go ahead and think of any card you like. Like that. And then they, let's say they pick the um, Ten of Spades right here. So what you want to do is you want to take the Ten of Spades and the Jack of Spades. Or you want to take the Ten of Spades and the next card. So let's say it's the... Um, ten of, uh, diamonds. You also want to take the jack of diamonds with it. Uh, let's say it's the um, ten of clubs. You want to take the nine of clubs. You're always going. To, it's the card to the right. I got confused with that when they if they pick like the ten of diamonds. Um, but so if they pick the nine of diamonds, you're basically doing a double lift. All you want to do is get the ten of diamonds under it. So it's like this, and it, oops, and it looks like one card, okay? Then, what you want to do is, since that would be what they see, just that part, you're going to rotate the card, oops, sorry, you're going to rotate, so I kind of just set this down, and you, all you want to do is rotate the cards like that, so now, if you flip them over, it's going to show this, Okay? So, when you have it like that, do not show the next card, okay? Only show so they think you only took that the card they thought of. Then, you want to put the cards back on the deck, because it's okay if they're out of order now, because you'll just put them back later. Then, you say, okay, I'm going to grab the nine of hearts, or a nine of spades, or whatever card. But you want to immediately flip it over. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to grab the, your, uh, so be like, let's say the thing of the nine of spades. You say, okay, I'm, dang it. 
You're gonna say, okay, so I'm just gonna grab the nine of spades just like that. Um, then there, you're all ready for the trick because it's already gonna be if you ruffle through the nine of hearts or nine of spades. Sorry. So once you do the trick, so you would be like, okay, so <coughs> nine of spades right here, okay. Well, the little magician knows. So now don't flash like I just did. So you can say like, okay, the little magician knows. So, f and I kind of give the cards a little, like, um, uh, what's it called? Decline, or, uh, no, incline. Like this, so they go like that, so you can ripple through them better. And then you ripple through. And then, it's the nine of spades. So then, all you would do is take the two cards, find its place. Now this is important. You don't just sit them in. You make sure it's in the right order because if you put it, or if it's in the right position because if you just put it like this, then that means that it, or if you just put it like this, then what's going to show is the nine of spades. Or it's going to show this part, but you want this part to show. So you put them in. Oh, wait, nope. Actually, you want the part where he's pulling the card out or whatever it is, like not showing the card on the top because when you ruffle through the cards that's what it'll, you'll see so when you ruffle through now it should be normal you should not see that at all just like that so that's the trick guys thank you guys all for watching remember like subscribe and comment and yeah i will see you in my next video and let me know how you like the new mat see ya